Welcome, I'm Justin and this is the Roland Pro-AV VR50 HD Mark II. And in this video, we will be covering the USB streaming output. This feature takes the guesswork out of complex RTMP streaming workflows and allows you to take your switcher's audio and video output and turn them into a streaming device. It can output directly to popular streaming platforms via your laptop, where you would select the VR50 HD Mark II as a webcam source. First, you want to make sure that you choose the right cable. You want to make sure that it's a USB 3.0 super speed cable. Once you have your USB 3.0 cable ready, you're going to want to connect it to the back of the USB streaming output on the back of the VR50 HD Mark II, followed by the other end being connected to your laptop. Next, we're going to go into the USB menu settings. Press the menu button and then go to system USB streaming. And from here, you can select your audio bus as well as video bus that you will output via USB. You can choose your video resolution as well as the frame rate. If you have a slower connection or a slower upload speed, you may want to reduce the resolution or frame rate that you're outputting to your computer. You can also troubleshoot any connection issues by looking at the status indication in the lower left-hand corner. Here you can see the connection is USB 3.0 and we have not dropped any frames. In addition to streaming, you can also record the USB output of the VR50 HD Mark II. You can use our free VR capture software, which you can download from the Roland Pro AV website. I'm going to show you how to set up a recording in the software. Here you can see in the video input section, you'll select the VR50 HD as well as the audio input. You can also choose the resolution that you want to record to as well as the codec. On Windows, you can only record H.264 video, but on Macs, you can also record ProRes. Once you have a file location and name set up for your recording, you can press the record button to begin capturing. Last, we'll talk about connecting the VR50 HD Mark II to popular streaming services. You simply create a new live post and choose the switcher as your video and audio source like you would with a webcam. For more information on how to do this with your particular service of choice, go to their help pages and look up how to set up a live post setting the source as a webcam. Thank you for watching this video on the Roland VR50 HD Mark II. For more information, please go to the Roland Pro AV website and be sure to check out the support knowledge base.